we're very proud to say the Forbes Africa 2012 person of the year is Dr. James Mwangi from Nairobi, Kenya. The CEO and Managing Director of Equity Bank, Dr. James Mwangi, is this year's Forbes Africa Person of the Year 2012. Dr. Mwangi was named the Forbes Africa Person of the Year in Lagos, Nigeria, at a ceremony organized by the eventing arm of the ABN Group, ABN Productions. The Forbes Africa Person of the Year was introduced in 2011, and the inaugural recognition went to the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi. It is um, my great honor to hand over to you uh, and to congratulate you. I still don't know who you are, but I'm sure that whoever you are, you would be very deserving and you have come out from a field of highly deserving um, um, candidates that were selected. Five nominees made it to the finals. Joyce Banda, James Mwangi, Aliko Dangoti, Tony Elamelu. Alex Oti, the CEO of Diamond Bank of Nigeria, described the Forbes Person of the Year 2012 as an individual who has touched and created positive change in society. One of the biggest challenges in Africa is access to finance by a majority of individuals and businesses. Dr. Ngwangi has worked tirelessly to ensure that thousands of Africans are able to access funding to better their lives through the good work he has done in Equity Bank of Kenya. The organization he runs as the managing director and chief executive officer. The governor of River State, Chibuike Rotimi Amaichi, discussed the critical role played by education and entrepreneurship for development in Africa. We must encourage education. Government must fund education. And the kind of education you need to fund is education that takes in the poor, that allows the poor the opportunity to be able to be educated as your children. If you don't educate these people, there will be no innovation and there will be very little creativity. If you don't do that and there is no creativity, there is no education, then there possibly will not be proper entrepreneurship. And when there is no entrepreneurship, there is no production. When the economy is not able to produce, you create poverty, you are creating. The nominees for their word were submitted by various industries as well as voting online. The hundreds of nominees were then shortlisted by Forbes Africa's panelists. Only one out of the final five would win the award. It was hard work. It was very difficult to make the decision. And there were a lot of harsh words said, I'll admit that. And one other thing I'll say is that if I want to use a footballing analogy, it uh, went down to penalties. I want to thank all of you who nominated the people and voted online. I was one of the committee members who had to make the difficult decision. We had hundreds of thousands of nominations from across the continent, and people voted from all over the place. It was interest was even more than last year. In his acceptance speech, Dr. Mwangi asked that all Africans should take up the challenge of improving Africa. I want to take again this opportunity particularly to congratulate Forbes for the concept and the idea of bringing these inspiration stories to the open in the hope that they could inspire our continent at a time that we have a unique opportunity. We may be the generation that is lucky to go into history as a generation that transformed Africa. And there is no better way of inspiring hope, inspiring uh, people of the possibilities than sharing stories of what is happening in the continent and particularly bringing us all together. I want to borrow briefly from His Excellence words about uh, entrepreneurship and I'm really a strong believer that Africa's paradox of uh, extreme endowment with resources but uh, those resources sitting side by side with almost abject poverty can best be solved by entrepreneurship uh, through wealth uh, creation. And so promoting the concept of wealth creation in the African continent and essentially the concept of entrepreneurship is something worth uh, pursuing and I want to congratulate Forbes for that great uh, 
our choice. We in Africa really need to rise up to this challenge and see what we could do. If all those in the room could join Dagote in the 10 plus billion wealth creation in Africa, Africa will never be the same. So take the challenge and take it, you are the person we are looking upon to breed and lock the full potential in yourself and make the difference that will make our continent a better place. To the winner of the 2012 Forbes Person of the Year, Dr. James Wangi, we congr congratulate you, Hungera Sana. So I'll stretch out my hands to you And I'll have faith in all you do So just call my name And I'll be there